The last few years have been very stressful. We've got to turn down the heat. We've got to manage our strategic differences. We've got to reconcile our strategic red lines. Uh, President Xi himself, um, I want to applaud his willingness to reconcile those differences, people-to-people exchange. The fact he's meeting with a governor of California at the subnational level, I think, is indicative of a thigh. Strategic red lines. That was California Governor Gavin Newsom giving himself a pat on the back for his recent trip to China, where he met with Xi Jinping. The visit met with plenty of pushback after he failed to mention China's human rights abuses and uh, zipped around in a $160,000 electric vehicle. California lawmakers slamming him as tone deaf, while the governor says, quote, I can't be everything to everybody, every moment of every minute of every day. Christian, that was... (laughs) But wait, wait, before you even (laughs) respond to this, I've got to point this out because this is such this is incredible. Strategic red lines is a strategic red line uh, allowing a deadly, uh, a deadly disease to escape China and then covering it up is a strategic red line uh, stealing intellectual property for decades is a strategic red line bullying our ships in the air and and our planes in the air and our ships in the water. I mean, what is he talking about this strategic red? The strategic red line was crossed in 2020. Most definitely. And in this case, he's giving a pat on the back to President Xi, but a slap in the face to the American public because this is a disgrace. He is now he has the go ahead from the Democrat Party to meet with President Xi because he's waiting in the wings for when Joe Biden can no longer uh, fulfill his duties. The next go around, um, he'll be hiding in the basement. But basically with Gavin Newsom, he's completely ignoring even the the auto workers who are now striking because um, he's promoting electric vehicles as well, sitting in one hundred sixty thousand dollar electric vehicle car, which China probably stole our uh, technology in order to create. Um, China's the number one polluter. He doesn't mention that. He can't be an, yeah. anything to anybody. And certainly these images, China's laughing at us. At this in the middle of a war on Israel, in the middle of the war on Ukraine, he's going to China to talk about climate change. Yeah. Meanwhile, we know China is somehow backing Iran. And also just go back to the whole EV thing. Remember, they lost Tesla in their state because of California politics. So what an insult to be driving around in a Chinese EV when we lost the American EV manufacturing right there in California. Yeah, great point. But I, but I think what you said is right on, and that is the Democrats gave him the go-ahead to right. go meet with Xi Jinping. He would not have done that had it not been a directive or you know a, a blessing from the Democrat Party. Because where's Kamala Harris? I mean, yes, Gavin Newsom, he appears to be stronger than Joe Biden. He certainly looks presidential. But again, these optics are clear that he is lockstep with China, who is our number one adversary on the world stage. How terrible is that for the American public going forward? And um, especially right now, as China is directly supporting Iran, supporting Hamas. Absolutely. I wonder what the odds are that he's the nominee in 2024. (laughs) We'll see. Don't want to think about it. All right. We'll be right back. (laughs) Stay with us. (laughs) 